Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. Welcome back to the bedroom and today we're going to be filming uh, some part twos. So I've decided rather than making individual part two videos, considering I've put up a lot of um, parishes just lately, I'm going to combine a few together. So in this video we're going to talk about five of them. Five. We're going to go to the south of the Rotherham Borough and cover part two for Thurcroft, for Dinnington, for Woodset, for Letwell and for Gilding Wells. We're going to wrap all of those up all in one. Before we get to that, I just need to mention that over the course of the last week, I have hit 250 subscribers. In fact, I'm now well above that. I'm now on 260 something. Um, so thank you very much to everybody who subscribed. You will get your 250 subscriber special tomorrow. The video is made and it's going up tomorrow. So I hope you'll all enjoy it. If you're not one of the 250 who have subscribed, uh, then feel free of course to press the button down there. I'm planning on doing another special at 500. So keep those subs coming and there'll be another special video for you when we hit 500 subscribers. And another thing just before we get into it, the other day there was a knock on the door and I received this box. And in this box there are 1,000 of these. These finally turned up. I've been waiting two or three weeks for these. If you remember in my update video I mentioned about getting some business cards and putting them on um, parish notice boards as I visit each parish. Well that's what these are. I designed these myself and this is what they look like. If you can't see exactly what it looks like in this video I will take a picture of it and put it in the video. But basically it just it's, it's just the TVI logo uh, and it says this parish has been visited by the Village Idiot. The Village Idiot is attempting to visit all 10,449 civil parishes in England. Search the Village Idiot on YouTube. And then I've got my buy me a coffee link at the bottom there. Um, and a uh, reminder to, to subscribe. So hopefully when I put those on parish notice boards, the channel will grow even more. So let's get to part two. And we're gonna start with Thurcroft. Right, so the first thing to notice about Thurcroft video, we passed a pub, or at least what used to be a pub called the Double Barrel in the video. It's referenced as the Double Barrel. I actually didn't know that it, that's not what it's called anymore. The last time I was in Thurcroft, it was the Double Barrel and now it's not. I actually remember it changing hands, but I didn't know it had changed its name. So what was the Double Barrel? Uh, it's now called On The Rocks S66 uh, and it's a steakhouse. There are apparently big signs outside it, which I couldn't see because I'm blind, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, certainly um, that's one mistake that I made in the video that definitely needed to be cleared up. So it's not the double barrel, it's now called On The Rocks S66. Paul Bacon's Auction House. It's a bit of a shame I couldn't actually get inside it. I've been in it before. I, I actually know Paul Baton. He's, he, when I worked in Thurcroft, he was one of the guys that I um, actually went to as part of my job. Um, and I quite often had to go inside the auction house. Um, it's an old cinema and it's, it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite grand inside. Um, obviously the auction, the auction bit is where the cinema used to be. You know the screen and that it, it, it's 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 quite a, a fascinating place to actually get inside it's just a shame I, I didn't I couldn't because of the because of the Covid lockdown get inside when I went to Thurcroft but if I am passing through Thurcroft when all this has died down I can always call in and ask Paul whether I can just take a couple of shots um, so you can see the inside of it. It, it it's a lovely old building and it's certainly something that uh, I would want you guys to see it still has its comfy fold down um, velvet seating as well. It's it's uh, it, it's a, it really is a lovely place to be inside. Must also mention that um, Thurcroft, it's not technically speaking a hilly place. It's it's not flat by any means, but it's certainly not hilly. Um, although every route into Thurcroft is up a hill, uh, and the very same comment that was uh, talking about Paul Bateman's auctioneers uh, says. Um, every route into Thurcroft is up a hill, not fun on a bike, um, and the mineral line is very popular when it gets to the Dinnington end. Uh, it's still one mile further to the centre of Dinnington at St Leonard's Church, that's correct it is. Uh, at the end of the mineral line it comes out into a trading estate. Yeah, that same trading estate is the one we saw briefly uh, at the end of the Dinnington video, 
um, it's the it's the one that's split between Thurcroft Parish and Dinnington. If you remember, Lawton Common uh, is actually within Thurcroft, and it's that that's the boundary there. That's the training state where the mineral line comes out that end. Brampton on more than if you remember in the Thurcroft video, there was uh, a wall that I passed that had a shield on it, uh, and I didn't know where that what that shield represented. Uh, I didn't know um, whether it was a coat of arms or something and I asked you guys to provide me some information and I actually got this I actually uh, got a piece of information about it the shield on the wall in Brampton only more than denotes where Oliver Cromwell stayed because that is obviously a symbol of where he stayed at some point in his life the Rotherham acrobatics center that we saw on the end of John Street that used to be an old chapel um, the person who told me that, uh, her parents were actually married in there in 1963, so that's uh, a bit of a personal touch there. All right, let's move on to Dinnington, natural progression downwards. Uh, so first of, first of all, the um, what I call the Colliery Memorial Garden, that's not its official name. Uh, I called it that because it has uh, a memorial to Dinnington, Maine in it. Um, I didn't know what it was called uh, and I've never been in that part of Dinnington before or at least not in that garden um, so I just called it the generalized name I actually have the, the uh, proper name and a bit of history about it now I got a comment on the video it's not the Colliery Memorial Garden it is called Coronation Park and it was gifted by the Colliery Company to the people of Dinnington to commemorate the coronation of King George V it's owned by the town council the actual uh, wheel in that garden in the Coronation Park that's the actual wheel from Dennington Main Colliery. The one that is on the roundabout, a bit further on in the video, that's just a sculpture. Uh, and apparently this guy says that uh, a lot of people would uh, would be pleased if it was uh, removed, seeing as it's not um, it's not actually a, a colliery wheel, it's just a sculpture. And about the only other thing I want to mention about Dinnington uh, is the graveyard that we saw at St. John's Church. I, I did have a code from one of my followers to actually get into the church but it didn't work they've obviously changed it so all I could do was film the graveyard I'm glad I did film the graveyard actually because I got a comment from somebody saying that I'd actually filmed their grandma and granddad's graves I never know what I'm going to find in a graveyard I don't think anybody that walks into a cemetery could tell you exactly who's there in every single plot I never know who I'm gonna film and, and it's kind of why I do it uh, why I film graves because it, it, it's it's like a personal touch to anybody that, that watches I mean I haven't purposely gone to those graves and filmed those graves because I want to film those specific ones but I never know who I'm gonna get on the camera and it's just nice when someone notices a relative or something these people in these in these uh, graves they were people that lived in the area worked in the area they were parishioners of times gone by and without them we wouldn't have the parishes we have now. Let's look at gilding wells now. Uh, I'm very surprised I got a lot of comments about this one considering its size. Um, gilding wells is a very small parish I'm sure you could tell from the video although I did only film half the village um, because gilding wells is a bit weird. If you look at the map the, it's one straight road through and then one across between Dinnington and Cartland Lendrig and one way the way I filmed was where I thought most of the houses are but I didn't walk up Burrs Lane the other way because it's very sparse and there's not a lot to actually film there not many properties so I didn't bother going up there it's kind of funny because a lot of the people that commented on it said that they lived in the bit I didn't film and they were a little bit disappointed that I didn't uh, include their properties in it even so I mean I can't film everywhere um, so hopefully hopefully I gave Gildan Wells a, a decent representation Okay, in the Gilding Wells video, you'll remember there was a bus stop um, that myself and Hannah checked out. There was no bus times on it. It looked like there were no bus routes at all. I actually do have a bit of information about this now. There is, there is a bus that calls through Gilding Wells. And uh, this is the information I got. A bus route goes through uh, Gilding Wells, the number 20. It loops around from Dinnington through Thropham, Furbeck, Letwell and Woodset. And it can usually be hailed on the country roads if safe. So it's not, uh, it's not the kind of bus that actually stops at every stop by the sounds of it. It looks like it's one you have to flag down. Apparently the same bus then does a bigger loop from Dinnington out to Rotherham back through Ully. 
That makes sense because I think in the early video when I filmed the bus stop there, I think that was the number 20 that we saw on the sign. That would make a bit of sense. Uh, apparently this bus only does it three times a day, the whole figure eight, so it's not a very well used service. Also in Gilding Wells, I did actually try to film Walling Wells while I was there, which is not in Rotherham, it's across the border in Bassett Law. There's a boundary stone uh, in Walling Wells which demarcates the boundary between uh, Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire, which I will film when I do Walling Wells. I did try to do this while I was there, um, but the only way to get to Walling Wells from Gilding Wells is down a very narrow, bumpy country track, um, which I didn't attempt because, you know, my, my car is not the greatest in the world and I don't want to damage it. The actual proper way to do it is to go through Cartland and Lindrick, so that's going to have to wait until I get to uh, Bassett Law. Uh, and when I get through Carlton, I will do Walling Wells at the same point. But it's a very interesting place and it's a very unique parish in its own right. It's got something rather unique in it. Um, so it's worth the wait for it, trust me. Let's move on to Letwell. Um, I don't have much information from you guys about Letwell. Um, the only real bit of information that I got was about the dovecote. If you remember, I, when we visited Letwell, I didn't get very close to the dovecote. It, it's, it's, on the, it's in a field behind a farm obviously private land that can't walk on it, uh, or at least I thought. Um, you can actually get into the dovecote uh, on certain days of the year. According to this comment, you can get you can get to it, there's a footpath off Gilding Wells Road. Uh, obviously I didn't know about that. Um, I thought the access was through, uh, through the farm and, and somehow across the field to the dovecote. I'm pleased I managed to film it, but it would have been nice to get up close and personal with it, just to have a, a look at the architecture. Um, but according to this comment, there are open days and you can see inside it uh, and you use the footpath off Gilding Wells Road. That's about the only bit of information I have on that well, to be honest, so let's move on. So wood sets. <laughs> right. Again, I haven't got much for this, um, but I have a, a little bit of information that people have, have come up with. Um, first of all, I didn't film Lindrick Golf Course. Yes, correct, I didn't film Lindrick Golf Course. It's not in wood sets. That actually falls within North and South Anston, believe it or not. So that was why I didn't film it in the wood sets video. You would think it actually would fall within wood sets because it's closer to wood sets than it is to either of the Anstons. But for some strange reason, that's local geography for you. That's local parish boundaries. Quite why that happens, I don't know. But uh, Lindrick Golf Course, it's North and South Anston. A lot of people saying that uh, if you walked up Sausage Hill, uh, opposite the way that we did, because we walked towards the church, if you remember. That's the most intriguing part of Woodset's pit. Then it would have been nice to see it, of course, but uh, yeah, I think it would have been a bit too much to walk around that when we were, we were filming uh, Gilding Wells, Letwell and Furbeck all in the same day as well. So uh, it would have taken up far too much of our time. Uh, I think for, the, for, for, for what we got in Woodset's, we got a, a decent return on, on the video that we had. So. Um, I was happy with it, but yeah, by all means, um, keep sending me information about things that we miss. It's uh, it's part of what I do on this channel. I think that's just about going to do it. Um, I haven't got much information yet about North and South Anston. I was going to include it in this video because it's down there. It's in the south of the borough as well, uh, but I haven't got much information from you guys yet. That's because it's a recent video. But of course, when I do get a bit more information, I will, I will make another one of these and it will probably be included with Wales uh, when I get some information about that as well. So thank you very much for watching me, guys. Once again, uh, the special is going to be up tomorrow, the 250 subscriber special. So please do be here for that. I've also got another video coming up tonight, which I know a lot of people are looking forward to. But um, yeah, if you're if you're enjoying these, then fantastic. Um, there's plenty more to come. Uh, so for now, this has been part two for five of the parishes we've visited, and I've been the Village Idiot, and I'm out.